Dan May at the Blackmagic Design booth at NAB 2013. We're sitting here with the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 4K, actually the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K. Uh, we call it the Production Camera because actually we can use it for live with our new ATEM Production Switcher 4K. Uh, we've got new 6 gig SDI technology which allows us to do 4K over a, or actually I should say Ultra HD over a single SDI cable. So it can actually be used as a live production camera, but of course it's still got the same heart of a cinema camera like our Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Obviously, what we've added here is a new sensor. It's a 35 millimeter sensor, capable of recording at 4K. Uh, it's still an EF-based mount, and the form factor of the camera is actually still the same. So we can still use all the same uh, mounts, uh, cages, and peripherals that you have with the current Blackmagic Cinema Camera. Uh, a couple of things that have changed on it internally is uh, it is a 12-stop camera as opposed to a 13-stop camera. Doesn't sound like a lot, but every stop is twice as much color, so it is a 12-stop camera. It does give you the uh, the global shutter, so we did get that in there with the 35 millimeter camera. So if you're looking for a big 4K wide-angle shot, uh, this camera is great for that. It does record as ProRes uh, 4K or as a, a visually lossless Cinema DNG. So it is a compressed Cinema DNG uh, file in there. Otherwise, it looks much the same as our current Blackmagic Cinema camera. Um, these should be shipping in July, and uh, we're really excited about this. Will they be able to do 60p at the 4K resolution? Yeah, we keep looking at trying to get more frame rates in there. The problem is we have two problems. We have heat, which becomes a real big problem, and then the quality starts really going down. So we haven't been able to get beyond 30p on any of our cameras yet. So it's something we like to do. We'd all love to see it, but you know, it would end up becoming a much more expensive camera, not a firmware upgradable thing. Yeah. Uh, does the 4K have a removable battery this time? No, it's, it's basically functionally the same as the, so same quarter inch jacks for audio, same non-removable battery, so any of the things that people were doing with external monitors or Anton Bauer batteries, all going to be the same on the 4K camera. And uh, will there be a lot of production models available in July? Yeah, we're certainly hoping so. Obviously, we learned a lot from last time. The sensors, uh, the quality assurance that we need to have in place with our vendor that supplies. So, you know, we feel like the camera itself, obviously, most of the same components are the same as the currently shipping, which aren't a problem for us. It's really the sensor change is the only really big thing. So, you know, we feel good about July. Obviously, a meteor can strike a factory and things could go out the window. But, you know, we're going to do our best to try to get these out in July. Thanks a lot, Dan. Hey, no problem.